Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Aloha, Hawaii. I'm Wendy Lowe, and I'm coming to you from the Think Tech Hawaii studios. I just want to sit here and just laugh for a moment. I just, I'm, I'm like looking at this, my guest today, and I just like, can't stop laughing. But anyway, better keep on track, right? So I'm your new friend as we journey to take your health back. We are coming to you live, as I said, from the Plaza uh, building right here in downtown Honolulu. So today we'll be talking about how laughter is the best medicine. And being Chinese, being Pake, Pake is free. <laughs> Sounds good to me. And you can laugh your butt off every day and nobody will stop you. And in fact, you should laugh as much as you can because it's so important. What I would like you to take away from today's discussion shall be that a good laugh heals. Okay? So today we are going to have a grand time, and I've already started, laughing my way through this show with Rodney Villanueva, who is Hawaii's funniest person. Welcome, oh. Rodney. Oh, welcome. Thank you for that I mean, introduction. Oh, you're welcome. Like 10 $15, I owe you. <laughs> yeah, more than. Oh, no, no. <laughs> so we want to just get started, Rodney. I just wanted to know, how did you get started with comedy? And, you know, like... How did, how did you know you were funny? Somebody got me started. His name was Jerry Lewis. We were, back then, growing up in Halawa Housing, there was only three TV shows, Channel 2, 4, and 9. And so we were watching the Ed Sullivan show and had this skinny guy with his ears sticking out, and his name was Jerry Lewis. And he was funny to me. Mm -hmm. And I told my mom, I want to be like him. So just like... Like who, Ed Sullivan? No, the, the, the other guy. She was hoping that I would be like Ed Sullivan, rich and, you know, <laughs> But I chose the other guy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And, you know, your dream came true. I mean, I guess yeah. you got to really wish, I mean, think about what you wish for because he's not only funny, yeah. as you are, uh, but he also is a humanitarian. Yeah. And he's done so much great things for so many children. Yeah, yeah. especially his lifelong telethon. That yes. was incredible. Incredible, and it yeah. continues on. I mean, and no different than what he does with the community right. and the nation, as well as the world, you do here in Hawaii. He, I try. Yeah, I try you do so much. I mean, I go to yeah. an event, and oh, there's Rodney again. <laughs> okay, I better sit down. This is going to be a fun night. Yeah. I got to go change my clothes, make sure I get the <laughs> panty liners on, because I'm going <laughs> to laugh today, right? <laughs> right? And that's what it's all about. Because depends is cheaper. Oh, it depends. <laughs> I don't like the elastic. Oh, no, no. But I know laughter heals. Yes. So as you're doing your shows, are you aware of what you're doing to your audience of healing them, their hearts, their souls? What? Actually, the, I, I am aware, and that's a great question. Um, a lot of people don't take notice, of, but I do. And I watch, and the more they laugh, the more material comes to me. See, mine is improv. I don't mm -hmm. have a set show, so there's no two shows alike. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, I whatever comes, I say it. And then even when I'm saying stuff and people are laughing, some more stuff is coming. I don't even get to say that because I can't <laughs> too remember much. them all. Too much. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. I mean, you're like, once you're on a roll, there's no stopping you. And I, as I said, I've gone to many events where you're emceeing <laughs> or you're just there to help the evening go along. Right. And I've never heard, like, really joke after joke the same right. one. Right. It's always something different. And like you said, you just, I mean, I said you keep rolling. I mean, no different than somebody's walking out with a, a puka or something yeah. in there. I mean, you're yeah. going to see it and you're going to just razz on that. And it's so yeah, funny. I, I have this vision. I, 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 I can see the smallest thing across the room and I'll call it out. Right, and, right. And it's like, they're like, oh, they sit down like, wow, how we saw that? <laughs> You know, yeah. That's I, why. Blessed, yeah. That's why when when Ronnie's on the stage, guys, do not stand up because you. Well, that's be, my saying. Don't walk when I talk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Don't walk when you talk because you're gonna be the next yeah, conversation time. up there, <laughs> yeah. right? And then, okay, so you know when you were coming, I was meeting you this afternoon. Yeah. I thought, wow, nice shirt, Ronnie. Beautiful shirt, but something's different about you. What happened to the hair on your face? I, um, it fell off in the... <laughs> I shaved it. I, I just was tired of that uh, 60s porn look. So, <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, I went with today's style. Yeah, clean. And yeah. Young. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, younger, yeah, yeah. Younger, I mean, handsome. Yeah, yeah. Handsome comedian. And so, I mean, like, right? So more jobs are going to come because you're getting funnier. You're looking more handsome. And, you know, one thing about when I work with you, Ronnie, I got to say, 
you keep everything nice and clean and above the table. And you know, that really yeah. promotes for good family health. That's because, important to me. Yeah, it's really important. You know, and the families come and they're out for a good evening and just <laughs> wanting to have laughter because they know they're, yeah. when they're with you, they're gonna laugh. That means if they know any better, they know their body's healing. Right. Right? Right. right. Through laughter, right. continuous laughter. And then you know what? The jokes continue on in the car. Right. And so maybe the husband and wife came, they were arguing, but yeah. when they go home, they go remember everything you said. And then they quote me a lot, and, and they do. And whenever they see me or run into me at the store, and they'd say, oh, you know that stuff you said? They remember everything I said. It's like, wow, I yeah. didn't even know anybody was paying attention. Oh, everybody yeah. is paying yeah. attention. And then the bad part about when you're in the house, I got to tell you, Nobody like leaves, so I like Paul. Yeah, I want to yeah. finish the evening, and all, wrap and it up, and, and they're like, "No, we want to hear uniform. more." I'm like, uh, "You mean like Hannah Ho, the comedian on the stage, <laughs> yeah. really?" And that's what happens. I'm glad you thought you said that because I was doing this comedy concert in Maui Community Center with Willie K, and so I, I had to stop. I, I was I was way over the hour. It was almost two hours already. It was hour four. I go, I stopped, and I go, "Hey Willie, what time am I supposed to end?" He go, "Let us." I don't know. It's your concert. Just keep going until you're tired. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I've done golf tournaments with you, and usually my goal is just feed them, give them their prizes, and call out the teams, out. and adios, right? Yeah. They got to go home. They've been right. with me already, what, eight hours, yeah. right? But something happens when you're with us. They stay. They stay because, you know, they had a good day. They're really, they came to us kind of bus up. They had a yeah. good day, and then now they're, like, tired. But then you rejuvenate them, right, and you're, like, Stimulating their cells. For I gotta sober, sober them up before they get in the I car. <laughs> and you know all that oxygen because they're laughing. Yeah, yeah. So that makes so much sense, you yeah. know. And I just that's why I love working with ah, you. Thank you. Yeah, and thank that's you. why everyone that I when I work with, yeah. you know, uh, different events. Hey, is Rodney available? Let's get him for hire. Let's right. get him on the stage because mm. we're gonna give them true value. Right. Because like I keep ah. saying, they're not. They're having a great time. They're healing. They're gonna yeah. go home in a better mood. So yeah. that means they're not gonna pick on the cat. You know, a lot of people say, you know, they cannot believe that I'm 64, and they go, gotta be the laughter. I go, <laughs> it is. I open the mailbox and I see the bills. I die laughing. <laughs> I figure <laughs> they think I go pay them now. <laughs> I go wait till the envelope turn pink or red <laughs> and flaming and go pay now. You know? Oh my yeah. gosh! So, yeah, I laugh at everything. You gotta. I gotta. I, I mean, do. and I that's do. why I mean, if more of us would see that side of life, I mean, otherwise, like, I mean. You should have a laughter news or something yeah. because everything on the news brings us down. You know, a lot of it brings us they down. You gotta see road rage when people cut me off. I give them the shaka. And the guy that by me goes, but the guy almost got you killed. I go, yeah, but maybe he late for work and if he late one more time, he's gonna get fired. Or maybe the wife in the back seat giving birth. I don't know. Right. But <laughs> just don't hurt me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Have a good life. Yeah. <laughs> we live on a rock. And then what happens? I catch him up at the next intersection anyway. <laughs> right, and so you better be shotgunning him, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> otherwise, yeah. not good. No, 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 no. The, the point being, we live on a rock. We cannot get anywhere fast anyway. So <laughs> we're going to catch him up. So That's right. Cut That's me right. off anytime you like. Just don't run me over. Yeah. Okay, so I have a, a photo of a plate. Okay. Okay, and I know that this is a very important saying for you it on is. this plate. And it says, do more of what makes you happy. Yeah. And so I've heard you say that. At your, you know, whenever you're on stage? I say it all the time. Okay, yeah. and what, what does that mean to you, Rodney? If you're not happy, as soon as you wake up to greet the next day, mm -hmm. you, you lost already. Mm -hmm. You gotta wake up happy and loving yourself so that you can love the world, because if you cannot love yourself, you cannot love anybody else. Yeah. Wow. So you gotta, if you hate your job, you're not doing what makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Get another job that makes you happy. Right. A job that you cannot wait to get to. Mm -hmm. So that's what I tell people. If, if it's, you're not doing something that makes you happy, you gotta change your routine. Okay. Yeah, and I, I say that all. I love, I love that saying. Mm -hmm. You know, and I found that plate at an antique store. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I took a picture and the lady goes, Wait, wait, oh. wait, wait, wait. You found the plate. You've been saying that all this time. You found the plate. You never buy them. No. Oh. Heck, heck no. I've been oh. saying it already. Maybe they owe me money for putting on a plate. <laughs> Maybe they're in copy from, yeah, from, that's from why, your show. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's yeah. why. Right? I've been saying Okay, that. so Rodney, I'm come, coming into your show. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to the restroom. Okay. What would you say about me? I go, whoa, lady, where are you going? <laughs> Hope everything comes out all right. <laughs> yeah. 
See you soon. No. <laughs> I, okay, I know, no. I'm not going to stand up. Because I'm going to your show. Yeah. And I'm not going to stand up. I'm going to make sure I have depends. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what most people use now. <laughs> okay. So now. There's a serious side of Rodney, oh, yeah. yeah? I mean, I know laughter makes you healthier, it heals, it boosts your immune system, it helps fight some diseases because when you're down, that negativity is bad for us. So when you bring in laughter, mm -hmm. you reverse it. Yeah, I, I, I believe that is so true because when you have happy cells, mm -hmm. happy is a positive. Mm -hmm. When you have negative in, in your life, stress, everything, that's where you get heart attacks because you're worrying about things you cannot control. That's the other thing I always say, don't worry about things you cannot control. Right. So those two things I live by, do what makes you happy and don't worry about things you cannot control. Right, so in other words, don't worry, yeah, be happy. Because people, people get sick when the doctor tells them they're diagnosed with this. Right. It's between the ears. If you say, well, I can beat this and go on the happy route instead right. of the negative. Exactly. And then you start to heal yourself right. with right. positive energy versus negative. And that's an important, very important yeah. uh, tip. And people have to learn this, this how to heal themselves. Right. Because it's, like you just said, the diagnosis is bad, mm -hmm. but making it worse is accepting yeah. it and being down on right. it. And that negativity will just make that disease flourish. Yeah. So let's beat it they by laughing it out of us. Yes. On, on, on that. When you feel negative, the negative works with you. Mm -hmm. When you've, you're positive and the negative is trying to fight the positive energy, they cannot. Yeah, yeah, so let's win it with laughter. Yeah, That's what yeah. you're saying, right? Yeah, oh yeah. All right, so right now we're going to take a 60-second break, <laughs> and we're going to come right back and continue with more laughter because it's so important in our, our everyday to include laughter, laughter, laughter as much as you can. I mean, yeah. and that's why Rodney looks so young because he's been laughing <laughs> his butt off for, for many yeah. years now. Oh, yeah. So we'll be right back after this break. Aloha, my name is Mark Shklov. I am the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Law Across the Sea. Law Across the Sea is on Think Tech Hawaii every other Monday at 11 a.m. Please join me where my guests talk about law topics and ideas and music and Hawaiiana all across the sea from Hawaii and back again. Aloha. When I was growing up, I was among the one in six American kids who struggle with hunger. And hungry mornings make tired days. Grumpy days. That kind of days. But with the power of breakfast, the kids in your neighborhood can think big and be more. When we're not hungry for breakfast, we're hungry for more. More ideas. More dreams. More fun. When kids aren't hungry for breakfast, they can be hungry for more. Go to hungeris.org and lend your time or your voice to make breakfast happen for kids in your neighborhood. Aloha. We're returning back now with Rodney Villanueva, and he has a really amazing um, story and, and gift for all of you, and it's the gift of laughter. And so we all know that laughter is the best medicine. Yeah. Being free and also just everywhere, you can just, you have to turn it into medicine, actually, because you have to see the bright and the funny side of everything mm -hmm. to help us get through the day. And that truly helps, doesn't it, Rodney? Yeah, you know, a lot of people, in fact, question, no, you can't cannot be happy all the time. You cannot be up. I go, if you choose to be, yes, you can. Yes. But if you choose to go and, and grumble and be nuts, then, yeah, you choose your day. Yes, exactly. You know, and that's why I love sunrises. Mm -hmm. Sunrises is important to me because it tells me I get, I'm lucky to be breathing the next day. And you're up. I'm up. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then during the course of the day when I see a beautiful rainbow, oh my God, that just adds to my day. It's going to telling me that the, these beautiful colors are going to be in my life. Mm -hmm. And it just means so much to, have, to be able to see a rainbow 
You know, a lot of people don't get to see that in the state that they come from with right. all the vogue and smog and stuff. Mm -hmm. We have it every day of our life free right here in right. Hawaii. And so never take it for granted, no. right? And so what you're saying is, so positive attitudes heal, yeah, yeah. right? Laughter heals. Yes. So when you start your day off, you want to start off on a positive note. Right. So what you do is you look at sunrises. Right. And that's very positive. It's beautiful. The colors are amazing. Mm -hmm. And you find joy in everything that you see. Right. And so, I mean, pretty much you and I have the same philosophy. Mm -hmm. And as well as, you know, we're hoping more and more that we can be infectious in a right. positive way. Exactly. So that we can teach people that, you know, this is a choice we make yeah right being healthy being happy right and doing the right just things. to be happy we have a choice yes yes right I, I i'm serious that just that alone what you just said people choose to grumble and be upset about everything that irks them mm -hmm. and they age they go i've been dying my hair since i was in my 40s and <laughs> you're 64 and your hair is black I don't worry. Yeah. I choose to be happy. Right, yeah. right. But that's so a my gift. happy cells in my body are just right. having a great time. Going like a yeah. big party, right? Yeah. And so you let that party out whenever you go out to entertain or even when you're walking down the street, you're happy. And so people like being around this positiveness. Right. And then if the world would be more on this level, yeah. it would be so much healthier. Yes. Right? No, no. I, I believe that. And I think they can heal themselves uh, just from being happy. Yes. Just for being happy, yeah. So, yeah, you should go back on the radio and have, you know, <laughs> drive happy time yeah. with Rodney or something like that. I had this. a great time when I was on radio before, you know. Right. Because my comedy would make people get into accidents because they look up when they laugh. They bang the fire. You know, that's why you get your fault insurance. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we saw what happens in the beginning of your day. You think yeah. positively. And uh, now when we're closing your day and you see the sunset. A beautiful sunset. Beautiful sunset. What are your thoughts then? And how does that help you ref refresh through the course of the day? Whether it was positive or whether you encountered some negative. I always look at the sunset as, did I do enough today? Did I... Did I it was it was it a great day? Did I waste a day? Did I do things that made me happy? That was important. And then you know, it it helps me to just stay there and watch the sun go down, and say, oh, okay, dear Lord, please let me have a sunrise tomorrow. Right, yeah. right. So and I recap my day, but wow. with a sunset. That's beautiful. I mean, the picture right here of this beautiful sunset that you oh, took, yeah. Yeah. you know, that's a, you know, a great way to start your day with the sunrise mm -hmm. and look at it and enjoy it, appreciate it. And think of all the but things. You got to understand, to get that picture, I had to drive to the ocean oh. out of the city. In other words, I take the time to go look for okay. a sunset. Okay. Yeah. I, it just doesn't happen. Oh. I look for a sunset. Yeah. See, like for me, I wake up, my balcony, sunrise, yes. sunset, right. every day. So I don't take it for granted right, is right, what right. I'm saying. Yeah. You, you don't either, and you drive yeah. for it. I, I, I look yeah. for a beautiful sunset. And then like the rainbows too, yeah. right? I mean, again, I look out of my, my balcony and I see the rainbows because I'm living right by Manoa. My phone is full of sunrise, sunsets, and rainbows, oh. yeah, especially when I'm golfing. Oh, my, when I'm golfing, I see the most beautiful rainbows. And I stop and take pictures, and guys go, hey, hurry up, hit the ball. <laughs> so, so that, going, okay, <laughs> golfers, so if you like win <laughs> over him, point out all the beautiful things in life because he's one of those kinds of guys that loves that stuff. A beautiful right? shot. <laughs> beautiful shot, beautiful. And, you know, enjoying all the things yeah. that life has to offer you, never yeah. taking any of that right. for granted. So important. Yeah. That's why you look healthy and young. Oh, thank because you. you're, you're doing the right things. Yeah. You're breathing good air. You're laughing. Keeping your insides happy with happy cells. On a Saturday when I have two jobs, one at 10, one luncheon and one dinner, I look forward to the second job because I'm already pumped up and just amped that I made this many people laugh already. Right. And I want to keep it going. What a high. Yeah. Oh, it is. A natural high on laughter. Yeah. yeah, because your abundance, your cells are just, you know, just going crazy yeah. in there. Right? Yeah. So I want to just talk real quickly. You know, like you do, you love golf. Yeah. I know you love golf because every time, hey, Wendy, uh, I need help. Yeah. Or, Wendy, I'm going to do a golf tournament. So I said, done. I'm right. right there with you. Because I know anytime you get involved with something, it's not, I mean, I know there's no such thing as 200%, right. but it's 100% plus right. with you. So you're doing what you love. Right. And then on the course, you're having a good time with your friends mm -hmm. and the sponsors and, and donors. But when you come back, now you go to work. Right. And then your job is to detox them from either a bad shot, a yeah. bad day, or going home, maybe it's like they're looking forward, not looking forward to that part. So you're giving them more joy again right. on stage. Oh, yeah. Right? 
you know, I, I've been blessed to put together some big projects like the Iniki concert I put together for the island of Kauai because that island got wiped out. Right. And then baby Alana Dung, when I put that big concert together over at the Blaisdell in seven days, 36 of the Hawaii's top musicians, just to try and see if we can find a match for her bone marrow. We did not find one for her, unfortunately, mm -hmm. but we did for many other people in the wow. world. Wow. That was the chicken skin, like yes. the one I have right now. Yeah. <laughs> and then recently, I, when they had that flood over in, uh, well, first of all, it's supposed to be for Puerto Rico, because my uncle them live in, my dad is born and raised Puerto Rico. And oh, wait, but that's why the colors today, you see, Alan? Oh, yeah, we, we, right? we, we color, look like the the is on fire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I chose this outfit, because I look like, yeah, like you, right? Puerto Rican. But they called, I mean, he, he got in touch with me on Facebook and says, uh, nephew, we don't have any electricity still. I said, but the storm was last September. He says, yeah, we still suffering. So I was going to make a goodwill gesture between Hawaii and Puerto Rico and send them some money to buy generators and, mm -hmm. you know, and stuff like that. And then the flood came in on Kauai. Oh. And now my mom is from Kauai, so my dad is from Puerto Rico, and my mom is from Kauai, so I helped Kauai instead. instead. Wow, and so that was the last call I had from you. Hey, yeah. the Borinki? The Borinki. The shoot. Borinki golf tournament, right? Yeah. And um, I mean, you were amazing. You, it was like four weeks out. Yeah. Is when you yeah. called me and you said, I need some help. We need to help the people of Kauai. Yeah. The children of Lanai, oh, sorry, uh, Hanalei Hanale Elementary, Elementary School. School and the Taro Farms right. of Hanalei. Right. And um, Jess, can you help? I said, shoot. Yeah. You called me and I wrote it down and boy, you nailed it. Oh, no. It, it was stressful at the beginning, uh, the day of. Mm -hmm. And then once I took the mic, I, I just went back yeah. into my zone. You went into your zone, <laughs> yeah. and everybody laughed. I mean, oh, well, dire just situation. Watch them yeah. Right, right. But yeah, yeah, and that's why everyone stayed again. It was a long day, yeah. but the laughter kept coming on yeah. and on and on. And you know what? You turned the event, which was to help the people of Hanalei, yeah. and you brought them out because some of them felt like, hey, I didn't do anything for our people right, there. Right. So you allowed them to have that opportunity to do that. Yeah. So that made them feel good because and now they're a part of it. That's why I called it the island helping island with aloha. Right. That was my mission, yeah. Wow, that was powerful. I mean, we had a great time. Oh, yeah. Great, great time. And um, I just yeah. wish that it didn't end again. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I know you were, like, with all your friends and all of that. Oh, it was people that I just met in stores and go, hey, you like golf in one tournament? I mean, I was picking them off, off the streets, but they were going, okay. <laughs> right. And they were buying a team. Right. And the reason for that yeah. was because... They did not do personally yeah. much yeah. to help the others, but by participating with you and this yeah. event, yeah. they felt now a, a, a part of it. Right. And that was so important that you allowed people of Hawaii yeah. to do that, as well as people from you know outside. They, they were donating money as well. Right, exactly. Yeah. I had some great sponsors too. Yeah. Right, so a lovely, lovely time. So, you know, we'll go back to that plate again. Yeah. Yeah, just being happy. Yeah. Every day in your life. I mean, what what is, you know, I know when you wake up, how you feel, you fill your day with positiveness and joy, mm -hmm. you end your day. And then in the course of the day, how do you write your material or do you write material or does it just come? Honestly, it just comes. It's it's God's gift. He, he, he puts me on stage. He gives me great health. He gives me the ability to be in front of hundreds of people at a time. And in fact, I'm getting ready to leave in October to do the convention, the World Aviation Convention in Florida. They called me, they saw me at a gig and using me in Florida to make their people laugh. And I'm like, wow, that's big time. Because I just did the one in Long Beach in January. Wow. So conventions in the mainland are calling me to make their people laugh. Because they said, how can you do that? shooting from the hip and not even having a piece of paper, but you keep going. Right. And then people always complain. They said, you don't give us a chance to laugh because you tell the next funny thing and we don't know what we're laughing about. <laughs> and they're looking at you, what are you saying? Never mind, just laugh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. And I know that um, you are good friends with Melvin. Oh, Lee. yeah. So, and congratulations. Yes, yeah. yes. You know, um, she has announced that she had some health issues. Yes. And now with all the laughter, you hanging out with yeah. her and just allowing her to laugh and her positiveness yeah. in her life has helped her overcome yeah. some of these health challenges. She calls me from time to time just to, so she said, okay, Renny, let's talk. And she just needs somebody to She like free healing. Yeah. That's what it is. She like free healing, no, right? She's <laughs> A beautiful lady. Yes. I mean, 
first Willie, I mean, these are big time entertainers. Yes. Willie K used me to go on the road with him and I traveled with him. Now, Melvin is asking me yes. to work with her at Blue Note. Right, on September I'm, 1st. I'm like, wow. Come on out. I don't know if all the seats are sold out I don't, already. I don't know, but I, I was just, I go, are you certain you can have anybody you want? She goes, no, I want you. Right, right. Yeah. Because you know what? You were her healing counselor yeah. throughout her ordeal. And now that she's come out and announced right. it, yeah. she wants you to be with her yeah. so you all can heal together. And the message for that event will be her talents along with yours, but that together we can change right. our lives. Right. And right. together you both have changed your lives. Yeah, yeah. Right? I, I, I've, been, I've known her from a small kid. We grew up in Halaba Housing together. And we, we had no clue we were both going to turn out to be entertainers. To be successful yeah, entertainers and, of Hawaii and, and, and icons. Well, hey, we were so the, blessed. Yes, yeah. yes. Must be the water you guys She were became drinking. the Tita and I just became. <laughs> the oh, no. The Tito, the Tito. <laughs> don't walk when Rodney's talking. Get down. I, I've had guys that tried to challenge me. Uh, like that night at the golf tournament. Remember that guy from that chicken place? He was <laughs> he was trying his best to be on Heckler. Right. And I was shooting him down every <laughs> night. And the other guy told him, no, you're going to lose. <laughs> don't challenge Rodney against ha no. uh, funny. You're going to lose. Oh, so funny. <laughs> no. Wow. So we're, we are so blessed. I mean, now you, my audience will yeah. go away with, you know, maybe just laughing yeah. more at what. Or you know, at least should... thinking about being positive from now on. Right. You know, right. If, if you guys get anything out of this show, choose your day. Yes. I mean, yes, we all have bills. We all have problems. We all have this. But choose to be happy. Yes. Because at least you're breathing and you're not dead. Right, <laughs> right, yeah. right. And people, if you think you got it, bad. Somebody's got it worse. Yes. Just look under the viaduct. Right, right. Yeah. And so thank you so much, Rodney, oh, for no, coming thank you on for me. That, and, yeah. you know, just sharing your heart and just helping us heal. Yeah. And without much cost, I mean, right, just oh, because I oh. keep saying it's free. It, it's so inside. We just got to let it go. Yeah. yeah. And we just have to acknowledge it and accept it and live it. Right. Right. Yeah. We have to live happy. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And, and that, that's what I tell people. Just choose the happy side. Right. Don't choose the sad side. You're already sick. Why make yourself sicker? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So mahalo, Rodney. Oh, no, Truly you, appreciate you, you coming yeah. with to us today. Thanks for having and me on us. your show. And oh, this is such a great location, a great thing that this company is giving you an opportunity to right. share people. To share taking your health back. Yeah. So mahalo until next, next week, Tuesday at 2 o'clock. Aloha.